3DS Max 2019.3, we've introduced parallel processing into the Revit import process. What this means is that you're going to see overall improvements in import time as you take your project from Revit into 3DS Max. Just reducing the number of elements here to speed up our testing, but uh, I will import the same project into 2019.2 and 3. Uh, additionally, we've made some improvements to the feedback that the user gets while importing so that you know what's happening during what phase of the import. So what you're going to see now is that the project on the right has been completely imported in 12 seconds and on the left um, it's going to take a bit more time. That's in the previous uh, version of the importer. Overall we've seen about a two times speed up across all of our automated testing with a variety of data sets from small to large, simple to complex. Okay, in this video, we're gonna have a look at uh, an improvement we made around the scaling of light geometry when importing a model from Revit to, to 3ds Max. Here I'm just changing some of the import settings to minimize the import time. Uh, but what you can see here is that on the right, uh, the model is imported just fine. On the left, I can't really see what I'm looking at. And what happened was those lights were all scaled incredibly large and they were taking up the entire scene. Also note that in some cases, these overscaled light sources would uh, impact the ability for the scene to be rendered properly because they would either fall outside of the space that you are lighting or they obscured other lights or geometry that would impact the accuracy of the lighting of the scene. In 3ds Max 2019.3 you are able to import a Revit 2018 file without incurring the cost of upgrade. Uh, what we've heard from our customers is that a lot of times they waste too much time importing Revit files because it has to go through this time expensive upgrade process. So we wanted to reduce that time and remove that block. What you'll see is that in this example file, by removing the upgrade process, we can get the project in almost before you even get to the import settings dialog with the previous build. Now this is just a simple case, but the, the, the more complex the Revit model, the more time that would be spent uh, in the upgrade. So you can save even more time by avoiding this with 2019.3. Okay, so here what we're looking at is an issue we had when importing lights from Revit. And when they were converted to lights in Max, they were by default given a black filter color, which, uh, as you can imagine, will not result in the best of renderings. There's the result. Um, you can't see anything in the scene. However, in 2019.3, we've fixed this so that uh, this black filter is not applied to all lights and the scene renders properly.